What up, y'all? It's T-Biz again. We've got another Eagle Force figure to check out. This is uh, Agent Grim, Grim Reaper leader. I, I believe this is, um, he's actually a good guy. And um, I'm not sure if he's going to be associated with that Monster Force squad or whatever that's going to be coming out pretty soon. I don't know when, but hopefully sometime this year because they have some pretty sick figures uh, in that wave, in that particular wave that are, I think, BBTS. I think all these are BBTS exclusive or Big Bad Toy Store. But, uh, yeah, Global Premier Strike Force to fight worldwide injustice and tyranny. Uh, wish they come here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, here's a roll call for, because this is like a newer wave, um, roll call series five. Let's see, Agent Grimm, Sandstorm, which I guess is like Dusty, Silverback, which I guess is like a homage or knockoff version of uh, Outback. And um, then there's Major Draconis. Uh, there's a new ninja looking guy, Warhol, which we haven't seen yet at all. So I guess he's in the works. Then uh, Matt Matheson, Pilot in Cybernetics. And then let's see, Riot Commando. It's just a red version of him. And Whiteout, Mercenary. I haven't seen that dude yet, but uh, wouldn't mind getting him. Um, looks kind of cool. But uh, I guess these are just kind of like prototype drawings or whatever, mock-ups of these guys. But this actual wave is out, but these two aren't. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, let's read a bit more about uh, Grim Reaper leader, Agent Grim. Let's see. Caught in the crossfire of failed operations, Agent Grimm was left for dead by the nefarious Baron Von Chill, disgruntled and swearing revenge on Chill and the rest of the riot. Grimm began reaching out to other operatives working alongside the terrorist organization to rebuild his Reapers. Agent Grimm and his personally selected operatives have come together to strike at the heart of riot and try to atone for their own part in their recent rise to power. Hmm, okay, so they're kind of like mercs, I guess, or good guys, maybe, I don't know, like, seems that. Let's see, uh, Agent Grimm, Grimm Reaper leader. I can't say that we're all excited about X-Riot soldiers fighting alongside our team, but at this point, we need all the help we can get Captain Eagle. Well, there you go. This figure looks pretty rad. He looks just like um, Keanu Reeves, if you just take a gander at him. Looks a lot like a pissed off Keanu Reeves, so that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, let's get this guy open and check him out. He is, folks. Not a, not a bad figure at all, man. Actually comes with a stand, so that's pretty cool that this uh, particular wave came with stands. That is awesome. We might have more of these. It totally works. Um, came with, it comes with the same rifle as uh, Baron Von Schill, but just a black version, so that's pretty cool. Pretty nifty. And I don't know if this is painted, because other uh, Baron Von Schill's is painted, so yeah. It comes with a pistol. So that's cool. And an extra hand, extra gloved hand, which is just like a grippy hand because he has the trigger hand on him right now. And here he is, man. This, this figure's rad. I like him. I like the fact that he looks like Counter Reeves. It's kind of cool. And he's got a Grim Reaper logo right there on his body armor. So that's cool. Same body armor. It looks like his Baron Von Chill just about. Or maybe not. Not at all. Let's see. We have him right here. So... I actually know that is different body armor, so that's cool. That is that is awesome. And paint's pretty cool on it. It's got some wear on it. He's got a bionic hand, so that kind of makes him almost like kind of like major blood in a way. So that's pretty neat. Even the back's different. You got the same double knees. That's pretty cool. Cut right there on the calf. And the waist. Let's see if we can get it. Yeah, there you go. That's cool, man. And the body armor just snaps in right there. So, yeah, it's kind of loose, but, yeah, there you go. I'm not going to worry about that. Arms do the same thing, too, as they did before. So, you got swivels and all that. They bend the elbow. Then you got the up and down hinge right there, so that's cool. And the bionic arm, I believe, has a hinge in that, too, from that hand. So, that's pretty cool, man. I like that, that paint that they added. It's a nice blue metallic. Very cool, man. Really cool look, dude. That's a cool figure, man. He's red. So you can give him a... Uh... That's pretty rad, man. And then put his gun in his holster. It's pretty cool. This is a wicked figure, man. I like him. I'm glad I finally opened him up. He's really cool. And then they give you a stand, so that's pretty rad. Let me see. And once again, you got two different holes for 
from the stand or whatever. So that's rad, dude. Very cool figure. You get some really nice dynamic poses with these figures and uh, yeah, extra head. But yeah, really cool, man. I dig them, man. It's kind of like John Wick. <laughs> that's rad, dude. That is really cool. That is a tight figure, man. I'm glad I started picking up this wave. You can get these from Big Bad Toy Store if you're interested. Uh, this wave just came out. And yeah, man, that's uh, that's it for him, dude. He's really cool. And he can uh, go get, get his revenge on Baron Von Chill. Totally take him out, sucker. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, y'all. That's a look at Agent Grimm. Got two more figures coming up, so stay tuned. All right, later.